Welcome to Lockdown News, Thursday, the 18th of June, 2020. And now over our to a presenter for today, Jane Upson. Thank you, Matthew. Utopian world comes to an end. Only a week ago, people were excited about the new normal. Lives were being led in peace and quiet. Less traffic and cleaner air. Then June the 15th came and shops opened up. In this episode, we look deeper into the consequences. Reopening of shops causes confusion. Shoppers are finding it difficult to negotiate their way through the one-way system. Mary had just about reached the bread aisle when she landed on a chute and had to go back to the entrance and start over again. Another shopper, John, who kept rolling ones and twos, was moving very slowly from footprint to footprint. Meanwhile, Mary's son had landed on a ladder and was able to arrive at the biscuits long before his mum. When Mary arrived, her son's face was covered in chocolate. In addition, visually impaired people and old gits who just don't care are going the wrong way up aisles, missing the chutes and ladders, not waiting their turn to roll the dice and just creating confusion and havoc. Once at the tills, they are told that the shop does not take notes. Then they get out a card and are told one has to pay by the app, which creates even more confusion and the old gits stomp out into the streets. Schools reopen. In this week's Kids Corner, we look at the challenges faced by kids going back to school. Andy has gone to school for the first time in three months. There are only ten children in his class. No longer can he hide in the back of the class like he used to. The other students are too far away to pass notes. Sally sits in front of him, but he can't reach her pigtails. School is just not going to be the same. Here at Lockdown News, we feel your pain. We have teamed up with two really great companies that have the school supplies you need to make this year a success. First, Spitballs Are Us has spitballs that flew truer, farther and hit their target. We also sponsor Acme Paper Airplane Company. They make airplanes that are big enough to write notes on and they fly true and land on the correct desk. Remember Andy when you sent the note via airplane to Sally and it landed on her boyfriend's desk? Bad day at school, hey? Wouldn't happen with Acme airplanes. Use voucher code LNDBTS and receive a 20% discount on your order. Have fun, kids. Comet brings enlightenment. Last Tuesday night, a comet streaked across the sky quietly and innocently. Little did the world realise that it would bring enlightenment greater than a comprehensive school education. Wednesday, an anonymous listener to the lockdown news sat on a bench and had his lunch in the centre of Bristol. Looking up at a statue, it hit him like a lightning bolt. That's Edward Colston, the slave trader. Until today, I thought it was just a statue of an old man who fed pigeons in the park, erected by his family as a memorial. He then saw a boy kicking a football. And as if by magic, he knew why New Zealand 
but not Greece, play in the Commonwealth Games. Yes, England colonised the world. Up to this point, he thought colonies were for ants, bees and such. Looking about, he could see people looking at the statue in astonishment. The comet had not just spoken to him. Meanwhile, in the USA, the CEO of Quaker Oats was having his breakfast. He reached for the pancake syrup and shrieked, Who put the mummy on the label? He made a quick call to the head of marketing and was told that the mummy had been on the label since 1889. Apparently, no one had noticed. Quaker Oats prepared a statement for immediate release, stating that they are to rebrand the syrup. The syrup will now be named Alice's, based on the Brady Bunch. Other people have FOGO, fear of going out syndrome. Some people are still hiding out in their homes, afraid to go outside. The UK government sees this as a sign of success of the What's Happening Outside Right Now programme. Now let's go to Matthew, who is outside the lockdown studios, to see what's happening outside right now. Well, thank you, Jane. It's uh, overcast and muggy at the moment. Lots of giant six-foot worms crawling about. Stay alert. Stay inside. Self-isolate. Back to you, Jane. That's all the news for the week of June the 18th. Have a good evening and a pleasant tomorrow. Thank you for listening. This week's Lockdown News was presented by Jane Upson and written by Matthew Upson.